have you guys come close to reaching your potential as a team this year? Uh, you know, like I've been saying all year, we want to be playing our best football at the end of the year. And uh, we weren't a complete team last week, so I think we have a long way to go before we uh, reach maximum capacity. But, you know, as a team that works hard and gets to uh, gets to work when something like that happens, I think we're, uh, we're capable of doing it. Can you get there by Saturday? Uh, yeah, I mean, we got a long week ahead of us. I mean, we start practice tomorrow, get some film work in today. But, uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to grinding and uh, working towards getting this W this week. You're playing your, you know, rival, the one that's circled on the calendar every year. Does that, does it make it easier that you're playing Michigan this week to get over what happened Saturday? Or, uh, you know what I mean? It, it, yeah. it's, it's a game that you guys would always circle anyway. Or does it have any bearing at all in how you get ready and get over what happened on Saturday. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it makes it much easier because uh, what happened last week was devastating to all of us. But, you know, no matter what the, who the opponent is, you got to come in this week knowing that you got to work towards uh, not letting the same thing happen this week. Rick, well, congratulations on being named the uh, <coughs> finalist list uh, this morning. I know it's a award you won in high school. Yeah. Uh, kind of what's that mean to be back in potential court again at the college level? Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing accolade uh, just to be on the finals, finals list with some of the best linebackers in the nation. I mean, some of the guys that I, I knew when I was getting recruited or who tried to recruit me to their school are on the list. Uh, some of the guys like Reggie Ragland. I went to a couple camps with Jalen Smith uh, just for a few of them. But, you know, it's a, it's a great individual accolade. But, you know, I'm more into being the number one defense in the nation, working towards a team uh, accolade other than that. I mean, from a personal standpoint, did you expect to be this high regarded this soon in your career? I mean, just a true sophomore at Ohio State? Is it something you thought was a possibility for you coming here? I would say my expectations for myself was always to be the best middle linebacker in the nation uh, every year. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't want to be the best player at their position every year? But uh, did I work up to expectations? We don't know yet. We have a long season still to go. Uh, Rick, when you did not grow up in this rivalry, but you experienced it firsthand now. Why is it unique? Is there something about the football game itself? When you're on the field, do you feel something Sorry. different? Is the contact different? Is the intensity different? Can you just express what it's like? Yeah, all of the stuff that you just said is very different because of the tradition that we have that we have here at Ohio State and for the team up north. When we're playing each other. Some of the greatest coaches of all time have coached here and up there at the team up north. And uh, it's just all, all the emotions, all the physicality coming into one game at 12. Surprise you? I mean, obviously you grew up with big rivalries uh, back home, but the intensity of this one is it? Is it kind of what you thought it would be when you were recruited here, or was it even to a level that you didn't expect? Yeah, I mean, it was, it's one of the things that the coaches emphasized while I was getting recruited. You know, uh, that we're going to beat the team on North every year, and that's one of the key marquee things that they really put into notice when I was getting recruited. So uh, I think every year you come in knowing that. You mark the uh, last game of the schedule every year, knowing that when that week's come up, that week comes up, it's going to be intensified a little bit more. Well, how much did that promise mean to you when you weren't growing up here? I mean, I really didn't know about it when I was getting recruited, but uh, but the, the promise more, already it seemed to resonate with you. I mean, you remembered all this time later. Yeah, I mean, after after you get beaten to your head the whole time you're rec getting recruited, that you're going to beat the team on north. Then when you finally get here and really get to play in the game and get to feel get a feel for the tradition and the atmosphere, it really sticks to you. Zeke, was Zeke, Zeke made some comments after the game. What were your thoughts about you know what was said and whether it was needed needed to be said and how it was said? Uh, I think everybody's overreacting. Uh, I think he's a player that spoke his mind after the game. You know, over the past three years, uh, Zeke has done nothing but good for this program and uh, for everybody to change their mindset about Zeke. Based off of a couple of comments, would be crazy. You know, uh, he's one of the hardest working running backs in the nation. But I just, I just feel like he spoke his mind. Uh, like Coach Meyer said earlier, it should have been, uh, it should have been to him personally. But I mean, he spoke his mind, and it is what it is. How does it feel? And I'm pretty sure this is the first game in which you guys are not uh, pretty clear favorites uh, this season. Um, does it feel different at all? Uh, the game coming up. No, nah, I, I wouldn't say it feels different, man. Uh, I just know that 
whatever we have to do at all costs, we have to go win that game. I still, still want to ask about that, the, the fullback is catching passes. Is that like, it's kind of a weird thing for offenses to do. It's, you know, bring the fullback out and throw a pass to them, and it's worked a couple times against you guys this year. Is there something about your defense, which is a, obviously a terrific defense, that's vulnerable to that? You know, uh, offenses do a good job of mixed direction when they, when they play us because we're a very aggressive defense. And when you have an aggressive defense that try to make plays in the backfield, uh, sometimes guys like me, I can only speak for myself, I get bit down in the uh, line of scrimmage. I think, I, uh, what, what game was that? When Joshua had to tackle the fullback on the sideline or whatnot. Uh, that was my job, so I take full credibility for it. But, uh, you know, we're aggressive defense and we try to make plays in the backfield and the fullbacks leak out of the backfield and catch the ball, so he made a play. Rick, have you watched anything on this year? Had a chance to? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've been watching them throughout the season uh, because you know, we face pro-style offenses, and some of the teams we've been playing lately were pro-style offenses. But uh, just picking up some linemen tendencies and stuff like that uh, throughout the season, but not that much. What is problems? What problems could they present to you guys? What challenges would you face? You know, I think they'll take a look at Michigan State's, Michigan State's game against us and uh, really take a look at how they schemed this up and what, how they did uh, on the line of scrimmage more than anything and try to do some of the same things that Michigan State did, be physical and uh, run the ball, try to establish a run throughout the game. Do you like being in a game like that, uh, Raekwon, where it is, you know, there's not a ton of secrets to what Michigan does. You know, a lot of times they go too tight and they run right at you. Is that, is that a, do you look forward to a game like this that uh, is that kind of style of, of attacking you guys? Yeah, I, I really don't care what, what the office comes out and brings to us. I mean, it's, at the end of the day, we have to stop them. So if we can't stop them, then they're going to keep doing what they're doing. And uh, like I said, we got to stop them. What position you play uh, and your counterparts at linebacker, defending the tight end is such a difficult thing to do uh, no matter who you play. Obviously, this team has a really, really elite tight end. How much of a pain is that for a defense, in particular linebackers, uh, to deal with a team that can play an elite tight end and create you know, uh, I think Coach Ash and Coach Fick would do a good job of. <laughs> I think Coach Ash and Coach Fick would do a good job of uh, really getting us prepared for all that type of stuff. And uh, I, I really, I heard that he's a great player. He's on the Mackey Award list or something like that. But uh, I mean, we just had to break down the film, see where his tendencies are, see what Rossi like to run, or what formations they come out, and, and when they like to get him the ball. And, uh, I think Coach Ash and Coach Fig will have us ready for all that. A couple more questions. Anything else? What did What did you see against Michigan State that you know immediately you got it correct? Otherwise, if it happened against Michigan, it might be a problem. Too. Like I said earlier, man, they they came out with a lot of misdirection stuff. There's it's a lot of stuff that y'all don't see on television or in person, looking from the outside in. Uh, I mean, when you're in the game, you see a bunch of misdirection plays, and your eyes are all over the place. You got to read your keys stare at your keys and everything happened so fast. I think Michigan State did a good job of uh, being physical and consistently fast every play. So uh, I think Michigan would try to do the same thing.